Hello, in this video I'll explain how to use this script to detect motion in video file and copy them over to new separate video clips. So you have your input video files like this, where your camera is on a tripod, nothing is really happening, Are you waiting for the birds to come and eat from the sunflower. And yeah, here it is. So automatically you want a script to copy out only this part with motion, right? As likewise with some uh, sports videos, you're filming with a tripod, most of the time nothing is happening, so you only want the action parts, yeah. Uh, so you need to run this uh, script, you can double click it or open it in a command window like this. Uh, then you need to wait for a little while. Mm. It's done, that's good. So in the log you can see this file was processed, it found seven clips, the durations, the starting points, the end points, and it processed the file three times, three, about three times faster than the duration of the file itself. Uh, if you scroll up, you'll see the same for the other two files, right? Let's see how the output turned out. Uh, here it copied exactly as wanted, that's great. Uh, let's look at this one. Yeah, great. All right. So let's go through some issues. Oh, there's one issue that I could find actually. Uh, it always looks at the frame compared to the previous frame, or in this case, previous the frame 20 frames ago. Uh, so if during the motion event nothing happens, like the bird is standing still or the person doesn't really move that much, it might cut off early. Uh, you can con contract this by in increasing this parameter. The risk then is that it doesn't cut off until the next event. So put it as high as possible and if there is a lot of time between every motion event it will work very well, otherwise it might put several motion events into the one file. Uh, otherwise, if you really want to deep dig really or dive into the code, you this is a bit simplified how it works. It goes in FFmpeg, it then looks at every 20 frames, it gives each frame a score. Uh, the score is near zero if nothing happens, I can show you. This is uh, the scores visualized. This is a complicated file, but let's look at a more clean video file. So here nothing happens for a long time, only background noise, and here something is inside the frame. Uh, likewise for another file. This file is a bit more complicated, but for the most part you can see there's some action, here's some inaction, and back to the complicated file. And it's complicated simply because there is something happening in the background. So it's difficult to differentiate the action happening in the foreground from the background. And that's all. And uh, yeah, so inside the code, everything happens step by step. It's not very complicated, so you can play around with it if you want to. Here's the code, it's about 300 lines, including empty lines and comments. And everything is step by step. There are a few related projects. Um, this one uh, I would have used as a starting point actually if I did it again. It uses OpenCV and with this you can um, compare the current frame with the background frame. So you don't always look back one frame or one step back, but you can look back at a default background. So potentially this will give a much better result. And if you want to do the same thing or you want to improve on this, maybe you should give this a try. Unfortunately, the script you have here, it does not um, make the cuts. So in any case, you will need to 
to do some coding just to make that work correctly. Uh, PyScene Detect does the same thing as this tool, but it's um, it's a bit slow, at least when I tried. So maybe there's some parameter I did not figure out. So if there is, just let me know about that. Uh, all right, that's all. I hope it works. So, and thanks for watching and goodbye.